Hi and welcome to a new video. Did you just lose your iPhone or it was stolen and you don't know what to do? In this video, I'll show you how you can track your phone's location so you can possibly retrieve it, get a replacement if it's covered by Apple Care Plus with theft and loss, and what to do with all the data stored on the iPhone. Let's go! Let us first talk about filing a claim for an iPhone replacement. If your lost or stolen device is covered with Apple Care Plus with theft and loss, then you can go to the Apple Support website and file a claim for an iPhone replacement. Click on the tag on the top right corner or on the link in the description below to go to the Apple website. Take note that if you're going to file a claim for an iPhone replacement, do not remove or erase the device from your account. If your lost or stolen iPhone is not covered with the Apple Care Plus with theft and loss, you can track your phone and try to find it. Now, I'm going to show you the two possible ways to track your lost or stolen iPhone. One method is to use the Find My app on another Apple device you own with the same Apple ID as the missing device. If you don't have a device you can use, the second way is through a web browser on any device that has an internet connection. But it is necessary that the Find My iPhone function is activated on the iPhone you lost. Normally, this is automatically turned on unless you manually disabled it in the past for some reason. Additionally, it is much better if you have also enabled the Find My Network and Send Last Location, because this will let you track your iPhone even if it's turned off. Note that the Find My Network is only available for iOS 15 and later versions. Remember that the Find My app will only work if the iPhone, iPad, or Mac you are using to find your missing iPhone is registered with the same Apple ID as the lost or stolen iPhone. If you don't have another Apple device, you can skip to the browser method. Assuming that the Find My iPhone feature is enabled on your missing iPhone, go ahead and open the Find My app on another iPhone, iPad, or Mac that you own. It's a pre-installed application, but if it's not installed on your iPhone for any reason, you can download it from the App Store for free. Now, on the bottom, click on the Devices tab and you'll be presented with a list of all the devices connected to your Apple ID. Just select the missing iPhone. After tapping on your missing iPhone, a map and the current location or the last known location of the iPhone should appear. This will work even if the iPhone is turned off if you have enabled Find My Network and Send Last Location on your Find My iPhone settings. Tap on Directions to open its location in your Maps app. Now you can go to this location to find your iPhone there. If the device is within your location, press Play Sound and try to listen for the sound coming from your lost device. You can repeat this step until you hopefully find it. If you can find your iPhone, you should also mark it as lost to protect all your data and information. Scroll down to Activate to mark your device as lost and enter Lost Mode. In this mode, you will be notified when your lost device has been found. It will also require your passcode to unlock the iPhone. So, if you have a strong password on your iPhone, your personal information including photos and videos should be safe, and the person who finds your phone cannot access the data. But if you have a weak passcode, it might be best to erase the iPhone, but more about that later. Additionally, payment cards and other services will be disabled. This means that your Apple Pay or any other card you have registered for online payment transactions will be suspended. You can also leave a message which will appear on the lock screen for the person who finds your missing iPhone. Tap Continue and enter a phone number that can be contacted by whoever finds your phone. Then click on Next and confirm your number by pressing Yes. Enter the message to be displayed on the lock screen. Then tap on Next again and the summary will be displayed for you to double check the information you have provided. You can keep the Notify when found and Receive email updates enabled or disabled. If enabled, you will receive email updates regarding the iPhone's location timeline. Tap on Activate to proceed and wait for it to process. If unfortunately your iPhone was stolen and you know there is no way for you to retrieve it, there is an option to erase your iPhone. 
especially if your passcode is very weak and you have important personal information on your phone that nobody should see. Then this is a recommendable option. If the lost iPhone is covered with Apple Care Plus with theft and loss before you erase your iPhone, make sure that the replacement claim you filed has been approved because Apple will not give you a new iPhone if you erased your phone. Also note that if you erase your iPhone and it is not running on iOS 15 or later, you can't use the Find My iPhone option anymore. If you still want to erase your iPhone, tap on Erase This Device, then on Continue, and you will follow similar steps when entering Lost Mode. Now I'll show you how to track your phone using a web browser on a Mac, PC, or even through another mobile device. On your browser, go to iCloud.com forward slash find and sign in with your Apple ID. Now you should see a map with the location of all the devices signed into your Apple ID. When the map appears, you are able to zoom in to find your device. Click on the circle icon to open the options. Now you can do the exact same things like in the Find My app. You can play a sound, enter lost mode, or erase your iPhone. When you signed into iCloud on your phone, all the information and your personal files including photos, videos, and contacts are stored on iCloud if you have backup enabled. To access your data, go to iCloud.com, sign in with your Apple ID, and then you can see what's stored in your cloud. If you have created a backup on iCloud or iTunes, you can purchase a new iPhone and restore all the information and personal files you have backed up. And that's it. If I could help you, feel free to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions. See you next time. Bye.